So we do like we try to add a bunch of little hand tassels and stuff, and these are all uh, influenced from her like growing up in Argentina. And so the farmers use these to um, to identify their their llamas and their alpacas. Mm -hmm. So we call them llama ears. Uh, oh, that's great. And her mom was actually a designer too. She um, she did create swimsuits, and she has we have this beautiful book. I should have brought it. It's this beautiful cardstock inside, and it has all of her sketches, her designs, and dresses, and, and examples of her um, embroidery and her crochet. And I have I actually have a, a shirt that I that she did all of the lace herself, and it's beautiful. My mom grew up not having like ready to, ready made or ready to wear clothing wasn't a thing, so she would always sew her own clothes. My grandmother and her would always sew their clothing. So she's always had a pretty good eye for it. And I think that's how I got it too, just growing up with it all the time. She really likes the bulls, the animals and all that stuff. So it's having that in my life really, is really um, gratifying, really freeing. So to get to dress up and do things like that. Uh, that's great. Yeah, it's, it's the stuff is, so the first time we saw the bags, we just fell in love and, you know, and of course, you know, you and your folks, are, it's easy to fall in love with you folks. You're just uh, just wonderful, warm, and the creativity is just you know oozes out of all. We the have product. a lot. Of, we have a lot of fun. We try mess We do. We mix and match a bunch of stuff. My mom makes some beautiful quilts with all the, and we also never want to throw things away. So like we always like we started making. We make these little like high glass cases, just out of the scraps because we don't want to throw any of the fabric away. Sure. Uh, we, they're just so beautiful, you know, and you end up when you're trying to center the pattern, you lose a lot of the side, mm -hmm. but the texture and the textile is just beautiful. That's something, that's what I, I always love looking at the fabrics. Um, and we have like trunks and trunks of headers. Uh, I mean, I'll show you guys one of them. So when we like, when we go to the shows, we go to, we go to a show and it's this beautiful, we go for like three days and it's this beautiful old um, brick building and we go, we have appointments back to back. We have half hour appointments back to back. And they pull out all of the headers, which are like these little swatches of fabric. And we, those are the ones we pick from those. And then they send us some sample yardage and then we make our samples. And a lot of the time, something that we didn't think was going to look good or that we were just a little nervous about, we will order a header anyway. And sometimes we'll make a, a sample out of it and it ends up being the cutest thing on earth. And we love it. Wow. Uh, so where where is the show that you go to? It's in North Carolina. Oh, okay. Yes. Sure. In a little North Carolina. And half the year it is just like it, it only comes to life during this show and some other show that they do. Uh it's furniture. They mostly do furniture. Right. So it's it, uh I can't remember the name of the town right now. It's um it's it's like in Raleigh. It's right outside Raleigh. Right. But yeah, yeah it's a I I actually worked with people i consulted with a company in the furniture business for a number of years and yeah so it was always they were like oh we're off to and i can't remember the name of the town uh it's it's high point high point that's it high, high point, point. Yeah. right yeah. Yeah. um yeah that's great it's uh and now i can't even remember the name of the furniture company they're kind of famous and i can't remember it of course but uh, it's really cool because they have they have these huge beautiful showrooms with all of this grand furniture but everything's closed so, right. and there's like two, two restaurants and there are only two restaurants in town and they all start with something blue and those are, those are like, it's, everything is closed but they only come to life during that furniture show. Oh, that's uh, great. It's really, it's really fun to go. We, and it's, I really like traveling with my mom. We have to, have to the second plane you get on, it's a tiny little plane, but it's just nice to get out of here and, and really get to play in our minds and see stuff and take pictures and, and meet people and, and really touch the fabric. It's it's totally different when you actually touch them. Mm -hmm. You see them up close. No, I, I just it's really really great. I'm I'm listening, mom. Okay. okay. Oh, that's great. That's that's yeah, that's fun. That's fascinating. So I, I was wondering about that. Where you go to see the fabrics? Yeah. It's at so high. We also, we also just go downtown sometimes. We'll get like uh, you want it. We've any of yeah. It's something that's like the speed bump. It's the one that you really like. It's not in the little bead on your sleeve. You can use the else. Thank you. We, I have like a shorthand, I feel like, with people. <laughs> uh, we end up, because the fabrics really, the fabrics also really have personality. You know, they, when people come into the shop, they right away, they say, oh, that's Sally. Oh, that's Cindy. They know right away who fabric is for. Uh, 
And that's kind of how I design too. I kind of like imagine it. Like I, I imagine a certain person and then I also kind of imagine the combination of something that they would wear, something that they would have in their house. And the, the fabrics are really what inspires us. We don't come up with a design in our heads and then seek out that fabric. Okay. It's really the shapes too. Once you start putting it into a different shape, then you see it, you realize, oh, that would be really cute in the overnighter. Um, it's the fabrics really dictate and the same with the decorations. We know, like, we just designed this, we did this to that. And it just felt so noble. We didn't want to do, normally we try to do like a contrasting piping or something, but this one we just wanted to do, it's, it's the whole thing is in the cow and we wanted to keep it with the chocolate brown. And then we added this little pop of yarn, you know, this little color. So the decorations, everything, the combinations really just come to us. And then just having stuff on the table, having like three or four different bags on the table or different matching combining fabrics, you see them together for the first time and you, it's, it becomes, it changes your, your view of, you know. Well, that's great. That's great. Yeah. So, yeah. so for everybody that doesn't know, that bag that Nina just showed, that's called the overnighter. Oh. Uh, a very popular size, a very popular bag. Um, yeah, that's a neat new fabric. Isn't it cute? It's a, it's a printed velvet and it's actually a little texture. It's really nice. It has, it looks very, um, we don't like, we usually stay away from white whites uh, and kind of not too, like in black blacks, we like to be a little more universal, a little, it combines zero with stuff. And we also like more antique look. Um, we also do this guy. We also have the Bonnie, which is a smaller shape, which is a really nice. This was inspired after like a TWA um, flight, flight attendant bag. So this is just a bit smaller. Mm. And the Bonnie, the smaller one, because I measured, because we have one in the shop uh, that I keep talking myself out of buying. Uh, but it, it is the, prefer it's the exact size for an under seat bag. Well, this actually works perfectly as an under, um, carry on, right? To put under the seat. I put, I travel with my overnighter and I travel with my pine here and both of them like under the seat really nicely and they, they fit perfectly above too. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And so that everybody knows, any bag that you're seeing that Nina shows you, uh, we're delighted to order for you. Um, and we'll ship them out to you. Uh, so, you know, don't hesitate to stop. We have the chat window open so you can either, you can ask about it and what it's called and make a note. Uh, uh, we're happy to order them. Uh, we have a bunch, we have some bags on order uh and we have some in stock um and we're always happy to special order absolutely any bag that they make uh and you guys if there's anything that you want to see more of the caddies if you want if there's something that you want to see more of let me know and i because i have the whole stock right behind this wall and i can just pull stuff out i have a ton of stuff down here below that you can't see um i i got really organized this week <laughs> Oh, that's great. <laughs> we have so many different fabrics. We can't say no to a fabric. We love them so much that we just, like, we'll get the same one in two different colors. Or we leave it we leave it for a little while and then we'll go back to it. But we have so many items that we cannot manage. We can't possibly manage to put them all online, you know. And yeah. we manufacture ourselves. So we can always, at first, we'll only put the fabric in a couple different shapes. And then as people order them, we'll start putting them in other shapes. This is Taya, guys. Hi, Taya. Hi there. <laughs> She's been helping me with my Zooms. Um, yeah, what is there anything? What else do you guys want to know? So I would Just more about Atenti. Hi, Nina. This is Christy. I'm Christy from Bakersfield. Hey, uh, I travel quite a bit. Can you show me some of your like a shoulder bag that can carry, you know, passport, you know, cosmetics and uh, energy bar or, you know, Decent size is in a way, but something secure that I can put it on my shoulder strap. Uh, and I, I also like to see inside if it's possible. Yep. 
Um, we have a couple more of this size here. The four set. The oh, sorry. So yeah, the satchel is really nice size. It. Um, I actually used to use the size in college because um, I would put I could put my laptop and all my books upright, and then I still had room for lunch and my water bottle and stuff on top. And these are too nice. The straps are a little bit thicker, so it's a little more comfortable. Um, and the inside, most of our linings are the same. Yeah, the linings yeah. are just great in these bags. You can fit so much stuff inside. They're really um, deceptive. So the inside is with this um, water repellent taffeta. And it has, you have an open pocket here and a cell phone pocket. Okay. And then on the other side, you have a zipper pocket. Zipper, okay. Okay. And then I really, when I travel, I carry a ton of the little pouches because they're, they're really great for organizing. We have a ton of, we have a bunch of different sizes. This is the cosmetic. Accessories pouch. This is the tall tool pouch. This is the regular tool pouch. Um, and so this is actually a combo needle case, a combo inter interchangeable needles. Um, but I use it when I travel for my makeup. Um, I started doing it at one of the shows. I took run to the bathroom. I only had like five minutes to run to the bathroom and back so often. And I would just, and of course, I wanted to get my makeup done instead of. Um, doing anything else so I would like I started using it for that and now I just travel with it all the time this isn't my actual stuff but so here you have what, what is that bag called this is the combo case combo case okay so it has a zipper all the way around and it has a loose pocket, a pocket here with a zipper and then it has uh, slots for wider noodle needles here and a bunch of smaller ones here Okay. All right. And what kind of what uh, the bag you showed me? What is the price on that bag? I, these are between they range between like uh, like one fifty to one seventy. Okay. Um. I also like Oz was saying. I really like this size for travel, and this one has feet. Oh. Okay. Um, more of like a handbag. This is my purse right now. This is what I've been wearing. But this is much smaller, so it's not, I actually can put a lot of stuff in it, but I use this size for, for just every day now. Um, the maxi totes are also really nice, but that doesn't Nina, have a zipper. Nina, what, what was that bag called? The one you've been carrying is your purse? This is the Borsa. Borsa. I think Borsa. you have one of these coming. Like, here's one that doesn't have all the stuff. So that has feet. Hmm. It has a detachable strap. It has a little leather detail here. And I, I love this fabric. This is the Gila fabric. And it has the zipper closure. And again, it has the same pocket. So you have the zipper pocket and you have the cell phone and open pocket. And what, what's really nice about all of the bags is that you can always, people well, can pull them up really small. Mm -hmm. so you can travel with this really easily if you want to take it as your clutch. The other nice thing about all those smaller bags is that you can travel with them as like your make as a makeup case, as, as a needle case, as anything. And then when you get there, you can use it as a clutch. Oh, it's so pretty. You know, you can take it to dinner with your wallet and your phone. Are they washable? Um, they we suggest dry clean um, oh, okay. or wash at your own risk. I have washed. I've even washed my fur, my fur purse. Uh, <laughs> but never ever put it in the dryer. Machine wash is cold, gentle. And I always, I use like an old toothbrush and I scrub the, for the, the suede straps. Um, this one, you wouldn't have as much of a problem, but on the lighter straps, I always use some dry soap and I rub it uh, with a little brush first. Um, but I'm not, I haven't experimented with all of the bags. So some of the colors may bleed, but you can spot clean and you can, uh, and you can always dry clean. Okay. Um, and you can you can scotch guard them before, but they're all upholstery fabric, so they're really heavy duty. They last forever. We at the shows, I'll see somebody walk by with a bag that I know is ours from the shape and from the aesthetic, 
but it's a fabric that's so old, it's like 25 years old, I don't even recognize it. And they're still using it, still wearing it to all the shows. So. Yeah, we hear that all the time in the store when people come in and see the Atenti bags and they go, I love my Atenti bags. I've had, I've had, you know, these three for the last 10 years and yeah. Yeah, I have, I have a few that I was still using that were so old because now, now we're always in, in, uh, trying to improve our quality. So now we use this like PVC pipe um, grade plastic as our base um, inside. Before we were actually just using cardboard and I didn't know my bag was, because we still have the same fabric. I didn't know my bag was that old and I put it in the washing and now I just have this clump of cardboard at the bottom of it. Oh <laughs> I yeah. I need to and take that out and switch it. But it's the rest of the bag is in perfect condition. I still use it. Oh, it's great. Yeah. yeah, the price the price ranges of the bag depends on the fabric, right? Yeah, yeah, it depends on the fabric. Um, some of them it depends on the fabric, and it's that's also why we do larger bags because really a lot of larger bags because there isn't much fabric difference between the Bonnie and the overnighter, um, but it's all the same amount of work. So it depends on the ones that have a lot more work. They're going to be those will be more expensive. But the fabric also plays a role, like this fabric. We could not, we had to buy it. It's a piece of art. It's oh, all wow. Yeah, this is very the fabric that you can, you can appreciate why, you know? Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful fabric. Is that the one? The and these have the metal snap braid. Mm. So which one? Oh yeah, well, is that the no? That's is that the same one we ordered the the, the flora? Ordered yeah, the flora. That's the flora. Flora. So it mixes with this like mint, this like um, we call it celery green, um, and denim base. This one has feet, and now I'll grab you the. I think you guys also ordered the Sophia or the um, plastic. I mean the. These are both really great bags for travel too, but more again of like a, a purse size. Um, this is the plastic tote. And it has a, a zipper closure, same pockets inside. And it has the feet. And this is all a, a dark uh, black denim. It has a little bit of a white heather in coming through, so it's not, it's not that black black again. Yeah. And then this is the Lolita. This size is so comfortable. Because uh, you can really, both of them are, but I this one is just really, put it on really easily. You have the, you have the feet again. And this, we're starting now because everybody was asking for a zipper closure. We're now putting it in the zipper closure. Oh, okay. Because the Lolitas we have in are all magnetic closures. Yeah, with the, the second bag inside. We still sell the second, the, the, grand, the grand pouches um, separately. But everybody was asking, I think they preferred, and nobody really was using them together. So people seem to prefer the zipper closure. Okay. And so this is the Lolita, and that last one was the classic tote. Uh, and real quickly, I'm just going to share my computer screen so people can see the bags that we either have in stock or on the way. Uh, here we go. So, so these are some, so like this was the bag. This is the one that's modeled after the TWA case. I love this bag. And I love that fabric. It's a really nice, like, tweedy, woven, very heavy-duty fabric. Um, here we go. There we go. Uh, and, the, uh, and the Lolita, so this is the Lolita. This is one of the Lolitas we have in stock that's got the sugar skulls. So this is now the what's now we'll call it the classic style. So it's the it's the a metal clasp here. It's a, I mean a magnetic clasp, and then there's another bag inside it. So you get a bag inside of a bag, and when you're me, I'm a bag junkie. Um, I like as many bags as I can get. Uh, but that's a really nice bag. This one is now coming in. This is a new one. So this is the new uh, zippered enclosure. That one, I, I believe that one is actually with the with the um, with the magnet in the back. With the magnet, okay. I believe so. So that's that one. 
um, yeah, there's, so as you can see, there's the, the, uh, the Sophia. Yeah, we're just in love with that fabric. So I want, I want the Spurgeon. Yeah, so that, that one's coming. Uh, and then this is another one of the overnighters. This is another beautiful fabric. That's the Nadja. The Nadja, and if you wanna have some fun, get the overnighter in the power pink fur. <laughs> I actually have a whole box of fur to show you guys. Oh, that's great. It looks like a Muppet. Yeah, it kind of it kind of does. Um, but if you go on our website, if you go under extras, there's a, a thing called bags, and then you'll see all these fabulous bags. All right. So I, pull, I pulled out that peacock tweed. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. This is the jinkies. And then I also have, and now we also are, we're making that shaved pin. We're doing it in the hoe basket. Um, but we also have a second colorway, which is the peacock. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Ooh. And it'll either come, this is it enough. In the, this is a massive bag. If anybody does needlepoint, these are also really great for uh, to put your hands, to put your frames inside of. They have two pockets outside, same interior, magnetic closure. And you can, I mean, you can put a ton of stuff in here. I carry, um, off and on, I carry one that's about half size. It's the maxi tote um, to and from work, just because I can throw so much stuff in it. Um, and I usually have- I mean, is that, is that one, was that one the classic tote? No, what was that one called? That, what, this is the grand. The grand tote. So you okay. have the grand tote and you have the maxi tote. So this one, this is the maxi tote. It's a little bit smaller. It's the same width. It's the same closure. It's the same construction, but it's a little short. And I think this is probably the biggest bag that we have, the grand tote. The grand. And then that fabric is called the peacock jinkies or just? Just peacock tweed. Peacock tweed, okay. It's a really, and this is incredibly durable. It's just really heavy. Um, I think it is woven, but it has a finish on the back so it won't um, snag. And it combines with this teal, beautiful velvet. It's a really, really soft teal velvet. Sorry, the colors are a little bit off. And this also comes in, I believe we're going to make a few in the, in the tall caddy um, because we got a few requests. It comes in all the different sizes of pouches. You can have it in the Pioneer. Ooh, do you want to move on that? That too? This is it in the, in the combo needle case. This is the size that I carry every day, but when I'm not carrying that one and it's not COVID, I carry this in fur. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. It has the metal snap frame, which is also made in the United States. And it's just a really nice. And I, for travel, it's a great carry on for travel. Yeah. And yeah. what's the name of that bag? This shape is the Pioneer. The Pioneer. You know what? That's neat that the metal frames are made in the US too. Yeah, they're made in, New they're in upstate New York. Um, we try to source as much as we can from U.S. mills and U.S. companies because that way we can ensure our quality. We can we're giving spirits, we're keeping it in house, you know. And um, but, but the sad thing is, is that a lot of them are actually going out of business. Um, two of our the mills that we bought from the most just went out of business, so we're trying to we still have bits and pieces here and there from them. And the, but uh, and we do really small runs. We don't really make. Um, we'll maybe make like 20 or 30 bags in one fabric, um, and that'll be about it. That's all the other nice thing of being able to produce ourselves and producing ourselves that we can, so they're really unique. We cut everything by hand, so they never really fall in exactly the same place. Um, we, we cut the, even the straps, we cut up, my mom and I cut them, and we make little packages in the afternoons. Um, 
and we sew everything by hand. So if, if you really, really need, want a like special thing done to it, we can do it um, because we produce everything ourselves. And that way we also like, we just, the combos are so fun. We love making combinations. Um, I wanna show you the first step. Does anyone want to see first step? Was like first? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> So this is the soft tote. Oh, this wow. has a different interior. So, and then like, okay, so this strap, it's not out of this way, but these were, every time we would cut the back, this was a whole roll of fabric that we had. And every time we would cut that roll of fabric, we would have this long piece in the middle at, at the repeat, if it's just this long stripe. And so we have like two boxes of them. And so we make our own, we make the strap for this guy and we put into that. And then you have, this one has a softer interior. This is like a, just so that it can stay slouchy. So here you have the open pocket with the thing, the cell phone slot, and then you have the zipper pocket, magnetic closure, and it's just, it's really comfy. And then, you guys have this one in stock, I think, or you guys yes, had this. Yes, we do. Yeah. So this also comes in the bag. That bag feels like a, it's like rabbit fur. It's so soft. It's it so is. soft. Um, oh, I also got, we have, so we call this sable. It's like a creamy mink. Um, this shape is called the gathered. It's really cute. I love it. It's, it looks like, it reminds me of a little muff, which yeah. I really want to make myself. Um, so it has this drawstring here. <laughs> And you can use these as your as like a little wrist strap, or you can use this the crossbody, and the crossbody is detachable. Um, this is the Betty. I love the Betty Mukuma. Um, again, it has the that metal snap frame. We collect. Sorry, we we every time we put paper, the like a box comes, we always save all the paper or the plastic bags instead of throwing them away to stuff the bags. Yeah. And we'll drive home from from Vegas and we'll show in Vegas with a huge with like two trash bags full of paper in the back from the show. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Yeah, yeah, we're the same way when we display them. Yeah, they're all full of paper and plastic and yeah. Paper and plastic. Uh, Does anybody have any questions at this point? Or are you still just enjoying seeing all these great bags? Enjoying. Okay. Enjoy. They're all so gorgeous. Oh, do you have a website? We do. Um, we have the the Instagram has most of the stuff on it. Um, Instagram and Facebook has a lot. That and it's just attendee bags. Um, there you can see, and that's where I usually post the newest stuff first. We do have like an attendee fabric and home site, but that's really just like limited edition and limited release stuff. Um, you'll see the most of the stuff on most stuff on 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 Instagram. Okay. And it posts automatically to Facebook, so it's very good. Um, and then again, like, so if you see like a shape that you like, but it's, you don't see the fabric that you like in it, you can always ask us. Um, and we usually make it, it's just that I didn't have time to post it, or we haven't posted it, or I don't have a photo, that sort of thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is the one that I normally carry. I didn't think it was very like proper to wear this out during COVID um because it was just too much chance to get stuff on it but I love it it's huge I get stopped everywhere I go um uh, it's much more purse than I need um I don't fill it up the whole way but I just like the statement that it makes so I wear it at the feet and this is actually our Fremont fabric up here and it has a little poncho on it oh that's great because it's so big, we started making a like, smaller version of it, uh, the Molly size. It still looks like a really big bag, but or, or pretty big bag, but it's done, it's this size. So these are 12 inches. This frame is 12 inches. And I believe that one, oh, ew, uh, I would have a lower. These have a, a 14, these are 14, about 14, 15 wide. Uh, and they open really nice. I see that opening. What's that one called? 
So this is the pioneer in the llama. Oh, that's the pioneer. Oh, okay. So that's the pioneer again. Yeah, it totally changes when it's in the fur, right? Boy, it sure does. Yeah. Um, and now we're starting to do it and in a slightly like smaller size. So th this one, the small, the, the molly size. And that's called the molly. Okay. Yeah. When it has the square, the rectangular frame, it's the molly. And when it has the rounded frame, it's the Betty. But they're about the same size. They just look to the, when this one gets a little more scrunched in. Okay, that's the Betty. Yeah. Okay. And this is the molly. Okay. The fabric is incredible. Uh, it's a velvet. It's actually kind of like a cheetah print. It's more of a Malbec in person. On here, it looks a little more stronger, brighter than it is. Um, Nina, this is Christy. They are absolutely beautiful. May I quickly see the purse right behind you? It's a white purse right behind you. A white purse with the fl uh, flowers? No, uh, to the right. To the right. No, no, no. The right behind you. Chair. Oh, on the chair? On the chair. Oh. I'm sorry. That is on the chair. Yes, so, so sorry. sorry. No, no, no. And so this is a really pretty linen. We actually got this that this is a limited edition. We so we also sometimes we go downtown to buy certain to buy some of our fabrics are from downtown, but then we always um spend our time walking around and this is from this gentleman down there who's so sweet. I, I love he always gets us. Yeah, they're beautiful. Those roses are beautiful. Yeah. And, and that, that's, that's on the magnetic. Nice Sorry? Is that a magnetic on the top or just open? This is just open. So this has a slightly different interior than the other bag. This is a whole basket. Um, and it's made so that you can roll it down and knit right out of it. Um, and it just has, it's very, it's very soft. You can fold it up. And inside you have you have one big pocket in the center, one open pocket in the center, and then you have on each side you have two divisions to for organizing your needles for, for scissors. And what is this called? This is the hope basket. The hope, hope basket. basket. Yeah. Hope. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think we have. Thank you. We have at this, least one. Oh yeah, we have a hope basket on order. Oh no, we have one in here with sugar skulls on it. Yeah, yeah, we do the sugar skulls. We do we do the hope basket in a lot of fabrics. We, we do it in the Mama Llama. Um, oh, we have it. We have it coming in in the shimmer too. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Oh yeah, that one. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. So now you before we were doing them in um, trying to do them in lighter fabrics, softer fabrics, and now we're putting it in these more heavy heavy duty jacquards. And this actually has a really pretty delicate uh, silver gold line that comes right on the outside of the white. And I'm sure you can't see it very well, um, but it just it's really subtle, but it's just the proper amount of shine. It's beautiful. What color is the lining on that? Is it black? It's you have black just at the at the top. And how much is that one? These no. are somewhere between, I think they're like 90. So this is one example where the fabric would change the price. I can think they're between like, it should be somewhere between 90 and 100. That that particular bag is 90. This one's 90? Yeah, because I'm looking at my website. And what would you call that if I wanted to get it? That's the, it, that's the Shimmer Hope Basket. Okay, thank you. It's actually, and it's on our website. Okay. I also, we also did it in the wild garden, which I love. It's, uh, again, it's just this like super regal, beautiful. Fabric. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's photographed incredible. What's that fabric called? This is the wild garden. Wild garden. And, and is that navy blue or black? It's black. Okay. Black, it has black candles and then Oh, that's great. Green on the inside. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Really nice. Uh, that one's not on our website, but just drop us a line and uh, and we'll get it for you. <laughs> the hard thing is there are so many beautiful ones. <laughs> I own four of your bags already. <laughs> it's really hard to pick. Like, and then, and you can wear so many different, it's like, well, you need that other one because it's so different. You know, it's not like any of them are similar. Uh, yeah, we struggle with that when we 
when we go to the shows and we're buying bags for the store, it, you know, we just go, okay. And, you know, first we, we get the walk through the booth and then we just go, okay, we will, okay, we want them all. So which ones are we actually going to buy? Yeah. I feel like sometimes you order, um, you guys already have stuff in stock, but then you come in and you can't, you just end up ordering anyway. You think I'm only going to buy like five things and then you end up ordering more, you know? Oh, and, always. Yeah. Well, it's nice that you get to do that though, because you get to live vicariously for your customers, but you can still order them and then you can have them to look at and have fun with that. And then, and then not actually own it yourself. Right. Yeah, it's great. They're just beautiful. What? Yeah. Does it cases? Sorry. Yeah, I got. So these yeah. are really special. Uh, they, oh, okay. Yeah, we used to have eyeglass cases. You know, I don't think we ordered any eyeglass cases when we ordered. I don't think that you did. Uh, no, we should order eyeglass cases. Do you want to grab me these? That's what yeah, the, I could guarantee those are still like hotcakes. Yeah. They always yeah. have. Whenever we've had them, yeah, they have. They're really, they're really fun. This yeah. is the pizza. You need to click there and... Uh, and they will tell you about everyone. I know, like, you know, when you, uh, so for the longest time, we always did them with animal, and it's kind of like, like we, we practiced with the code. Um, now doing it with these velvet, with these velvets on top, they're so soft. But now we finally, before we really had to make a nice combination, and now that we've figured out, we, these look really great in the shape. Now we're doing sure that. Do. Yeah, this is a little more of this beautiful. See, like, that would have gone to the trash, you know, that little piece of fabric. And so instead, it's such a beautiful part of it. Do you guys want me to move, to turn you around the room? You guys say, do you want me to pull anything down? And you will see the dates. Um, eyeglass cases wide enough for a cell phone? I do not think so. Uh, let me try it. That is something that we're actually trying to develop. Yeah, it's my, my um, this is a 10 and it doesn't fit inside, but we did just buy some snap frames. You know the frames that have like buckles? Uh, yeah. When you push on the sides. We bought some of those. Um, now we need to get some time to actually develop it. I'm thinking that it'll be, it'll either, it's gonna be a little bit wider and it'll be on this side. Or it'll be just about this size with a long one on top. Or cell phone and there's like cell phone eyeglass mix. Or just cell phone. Uh, because a lot of the time you want to just throw it in your purse and then you can't fix it. It feels like everything else. And just these, uh, these. A little bit of protection would be nice. And a little bit of protection for the screen and the camera. These the glasses fit really nice inside and they, this doesn't have a closure, so they that like sometimes they can pull out, but 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 yeah, no because those are those okay okay then uh, bye. So these come assorted. Um, you can have, and this is just a few of them. We have a bunch of them, and what's nice is that they still match. Like this guy would match. Yeah. Different. We'll still have this thing here. Yeah, why don't I why don't I do give you guys a little spin and see if you like if you guys want to pull anything on me to show you anything else. Oh, that's great. My desk is usually in this corner here. <laughs> and this is our front window is on this side, and then our stock is right here. Our cutting table is on that side. And we have two machines in the back. So, somebody's dog is joining us. Yeah, so the 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 back sack. So we have one of these in the in the uh, brown leather like that dude right there, the stampede. Uh, the stampede, so this, yes. This is the so we also make it in charcoal. The, the backpacks are really cool and they're really, really comfortable. Um so you can wear it like a regular backpack like this. 
It has adjustable straps. And like the, the caddies, it's kind of a mix between the hope basket and the tall caddy or the caddies. So it has this loop here and it has a magnetic closure. So you can actually also wear it like open like this. And then if you extend these out far enough, you can even just, you can, it's really comfortable. You can just throw it over one shoulder because of that loop, they stay in place. Uh, you can do it like that, or you can put that magnet back together for a little more security and just have a shoulder back. And these also have, because they have the same pockets inside of the, the open cell phone slot, the zipper, and they have feet. That's a great bag. It's a great, great shape. And the straps being that they're just the right width, that they don't dig into your shoulders. Uh, they're really, they're really comfy. Oh, What's the name of that and how much is it? That's I'm the sorry? back sack. Um, and we have it in the color Stampede um, in the store. And in the Stampede, it's 189. And it okay. looks like leather. It's really beautiful. It's, a, it's and a, with a flopped velvet on top. It's, it's incredible. And it, the way that it changes, it's really hard to photograph. Um, because it always changes, it's always changing. Sometimes it'll look a little bit more, a little warmer, a little lighter. Other times it'll look uh, darker. It's really, it's really beautiful. Also have it in the Tinto. So this is that Malbec color again. It's a different fabric, but you can tell we really like this color. Uh, way. For the back sack, also can come in that color, you're saying? Yes. Oh, that's great. What color is that? What color is that? This is the Tinto, um, T-I-N-T-O. See, right now it's looking pretty dark, but it's, did you say that? It's like a chocolatey brown in the back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What shape is that bag? What is, it, what shape? Um, that's the, that one. That's the Lolita. Yeah. Lolita. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah we have it. a couple of Lolitas in the store. Has that magnet closure. It's missing its back inside. Has the feet. Uh, yeah, this, and then this is the cadet. The shape is the cadet. So it has, a, it has a, um, an adjustable crossbody. And it has, it's, this is like the first size version of the cat. It's really great. It has four big pockets outside. They extend from end to end. This one has them too. And then it has two really big pockets inside and the zipper pocket on this side. It holds its shape really nicely. It has feet um, and it has like a nice center well. It stays open really nicely. So you can really dig through it, you can really go into it. Um, I also think that this works really well as a diaper bag because you can have all you have all these open pockets. And then I also consider like these dudes a diaper bag for because now we're at home. So what do you really need? You don't, I mean, this is a smaller size, but you don't need those big massive diaper bags anymore. So they're great gifts. You can take this like if you're working from home, you can go from the living room to the dining room, upstairs to the kids' room. Um, and just have this little diaper bag. That's what I, I gave my sister that for Christmas last year. Oh, that's great. Like she needs more for the tenty bags, but yeah. <laughs> and the name of that one again and the color? This, the color on this is the Tinto. Tinto. And the shape is Cadet. Cadet. I'm going to be so confused after this is over. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, the Tinto fabric. Too. Sorry, go ahead, Austin. No, I'm good. Okay. That's great. Uh, yeah, the caddies that you guys do are really great, both the tall caddy and the short caddies. If you folks aren't familiar with these, we always have these in stock because we just love them. Yeah, these are these are great. I actually just sold uh, a couple of them this morning. Uh, see, I bought one at a, a knitting store. Um, close by in town, but um, she was passing through so she stopped by. So I love this fabric. This is the Miss Lizzie is the fabric. 
Oh, and you have great. orange outside, this turquoise pop inside. And it has four of the four big pockets outside. Good. And then it full set like full size center well and it has four big pockets inside. And this is great because you can string it. You string your strap through. And I see people just people just walk around knitting right out of it. And I this is pretty great to guide your yarn. It's a little, it's a little loop here. It's like a set of an eyelet. And these come in. Um, can you grab me a small one? One of the um, yeah, maybe in the team we have one. Um, this is just these are just a few of like the newer fabrics that I pulled out for you guys. Give it in the draft. Um, we always try to put something fun inside. We try to go a little more colorful with these since they're smaller items. Um, we try to, so like we put this little pop of red. Uh, we try to add a lot more fun to them. This has like an extra here. That's great. These, you know, this is a fabric that we did for Sundance and um, it's really, really expensive. We normally would have never been able to put it in a caddy. We were only doing it in the, the Lolita, that heart-shaped one. But again, we had all of these strips with, for the catalogs, you have to do the, the exact same placement each time. So now we are able to bring you caddies in it. This is the lacery blue and this is the lacery red. Wow. And they both have a cheetah inside. And then this guy here, thank you. I love this one. I love, love, love this one. This is the, the Sherpa and um, has the cow print inside. This is, so this is the short cat. So here's your size difference. Yeah, these bags are just, these caddies are just great workhorse, kind of throw stuff in them, throw your knitting in. Uh, yeah, they're just wonderful. They fit so much. I mean, it's really a great way to organize your projects because you can actually, you can have your yarn, different yarns in different pockets, you know, and, uh, and these are, do you, guys, do you guys have any of these in stock for the price point? Yeah, we do. Um, uh, Mama Llama. Yeah, we've got, oh yeah, we've got the Mama Llama here. I'm gonna share my screen again so you can yeah. see some of these. So there's the Mama Llama, though this one's coming in, but the Mama Llama, which, well, it's got a llama on it. How, how could you not like that it's got a llama? Um, whoop, here we go. Uh, yeah, here's the sable purse and the puma, those furry ones. There's that stampede fabric again in another bag. Uh, this is that hope basket, the one that folds down in the sugar skulls. Uh, so here's another, here's the, sh the regular, the shorter caddy in the cowgirls. And then, uh, and then we have it in appropriately called knit which really does look like a knitted fabric. It's so, and it's such a soft velvet. That's cute. Yeah, it really is. And you can see they're like, you know, 86. If for most of those, the shorter one is 72. And mm -hmm. this is one of the ones, uh, this, the cowgirl one has been incredibly popular for us. Uh, and that's one of the ones that's got the plastic on the outside. Yeah. Um, but those are just really fun because you got pockets everywhere. Yeah. And the center well is pretty big. Once you start, you, you might not notice it when it's when you're kind of just holding it and it's, and it's just stuffed with the paper. But once you start putting stuff inside, they, you can really fill them up. This is another beautiful bag. This mini Grace bag. Isn't that fabric just incredible? Wow. Mm. That one That's is here. really beautiful, heavy um, jacquard. I think yeah. it has a little chenille relief to it too, right? With these nice leather handles. This is in the store. So you're gonna have that one today. Or if you're gonna come pick it up, you have to you have to wait till tomorrow. And you know what? I think that's a one of a kind. I don't think I think we made that just for you guys. Oh, <laughs> nice. Grace, many grace work it, yeah. It, yeah, you guys have done a few custom things for us. Yeah, that low, the, the sugar skulls, black sugar skulls, Lolita. Yeah, it's a one of a kind. 
the, the black one down here. Oh yeah, down here. Okay, so that's a one of a kind. And don't you love the glitter on that fabric? It has that little that little shine, the little glitter that's on it. It doesn't shed. Nice. Yeah, it's a it's a really nice it's it's a really nice bag. I know it, it, every now and then we get some of these bags in and people buy them. And I go, oh, I wanted that one. <laughs> so the Mama Llama comes in three colors. That there you had it in gray. Here it is in the in the orange. It's like a rusty orange. And that we mix it with this melon color and this uh, pop of yellow. And then it also comes in the turquoise. Uh, oh, there's a body. Yeah. I thought I had this too. I have so many bags here. You just have like piles and piles. <laughs> this is it in the font. So this is the, so you can see the color, the turquoise. Oh, that's great. And actually, so we also do the bond bucket, which is um, really, it's like the hope basket, but with some longer straps and a magnetic container. And before we were only doing it in the turquoise, now we're doing it in all three colors. Um, it's all striped on the back. And then the front, you have this little dude smiling at you and you have a spot here for a cell phone or a water bottle and then another open pocket here. And then the interior has two really big divisions on one side, kind of like the cadet and the caddies. And then you have a zipper pocket on the other side. That's great. That's the bond bucket? The bond bucket, yeah. And the straps are really important. And again, this is also really great for needlepoint um, because you can roll up your canvases and put them in. It's really tall. Um, This guy is, this stands at about 13 and a half tall. Um, so you can really put some stuff in there. And again, the straps are these open, these open straps. So uh, really comfortable on your shoulder. With a, with a uh, very happy llama. Thank you. <laughs> uh, anything else? What other shapes do you guys want to see? Or caddies, um, needle cases, bolitas. Is Can we see some of your needle cases, please? Yeah. Um, so this is for the circular needles. This is that. This is the combo case and that knit fabric. So you can see it up close. It's a beautiful. It's a printed velvet. It's from Spain. And they do such an incredible job. Um, it's, it looks okay. real. The stuff looks incredibly real. So this is the combo case. Grabbing in all these. This is the Desiree. This is a new fabric. This is another velvet. And this has a, a texture to it too. Really, the colors really pop. Give it What's the texture. price on that? These, I believe, are around, are, are verging on 60. I think they're like 60, 60 to 70. They're in that price range. And then the, the other ones, these dudes, this is the first circular needles. Um, I think these are around the 50 range. Again, it has the, the zipper all the way around and it has the taffeta lining. And then you have these clear um, pockets here, kind of like those old photo albums, like in the photo album or speed. So you can put your needles in there and we, we they come with little round sticky labels so you can see what size they are. And it also has a pocket here. And then you put the pocket there. And because this the this guy is smaller, you can really make it grow all this much. You can really it'll it will really it'll puff up a lot. These are like 54-ish. And I believe these are gonna be around like the 60. And these come in a lot of the fabrics. These are a little bit harder for me to photograph. Um, the, the linings are really hard to take pictures of, so I don't really get to put them online. Here you have it in the jinkies, the peacocks. We also do it in the knit. We do it in the rosetto, which is just gorgeous. This is for the same company as this guy. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. 
it's, and it's so, so soft. The first year we had it, I was calling everybody that came in. I was like, just touch it. You have to touch it. <laughs> Everyone That's touched. great. We also have the cowgirls. It's one of my favorites. Ours too. Combo case. So the, so the larger is the combo. And then we do it in the pink, um, the Oliver, the pink sher Sherpa, and in the, the creamy color that I was showing you the caddy earlier. It also comes in this with the caramel with the caramel zipper. Both sizes come in both in, in these. And here I have it in the drafts. We have the Leonessa. Uh, let me grab a grab the whole bucket actually. The circular cases I have more of. So these are the circular cases. This is that wild garden fabric that I showed you earlier. Uh, that black. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like a Peter Max painting. It's it's incredible. It's and it's all embroidered. It's really, really delicate. It's like um if you go online, you might be able to zoom in on it. Um, we also do it in the mezcal. This is another embroidered. Um, it's really ethnic and beautiful. This is a heavy duty fabric. It's like a high performance. Um, this is the Rambla. Then we have the indigo. It's a little more denim. This is gorgeous in the overnighter. It's gorgeous in the, uh, in the Lolita and else we don't do I've, oh and then the the tall caddy it's really uh, this we only have two of these guys left this was the samoa in uh, samoa red we have some little deer oh look at that <laughs> and some day of the dead <laughs> This is my dad. Hey. This is dad. He's supposed to be retired. Dawes and Chris and um, stitching in your TV top. Where are you? Oh, oh hi. 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 Hey. Hello. Oh, oh hey. Yeah. Hi. Hey. How are you? What is this? We just having a party. Virtual crunch. Yeah. Yeah, we are. We're having a little party. Yeah. <laughs> I have a ballot here. I've got to get Andrea to sign it. Then I'm voting first. But oh yeah, that's right. It's too late to mail it though. You got to drop it off now. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't mail okay. It. <laughs> we don't trust the mailers. Bye, everybody. Hey, it's great to see you. See you too. I don't want to interrupt. See you guys. Uh, great. Yeah, we did a whole photo shoot in the backyard today. I put those teeth in, and I had this. I had my I voted sticker and a pumpkin. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, we did our tracking thing that showed us that our our ballots were accepted. We dropped them off at the library. And, yeah, uh, they were accepted and will be counted. Both of us said so. Yay. So yeah. that's, that's cool. You have to track it. They, they, there was that fire over uh, somebody lit fire to one of our ballots, one of the ballot boxes in, in Los Angeles. Yeah, saw that. Uh, it was. Yeah. So I, you really do have to track them. Uh, and do your survey for your post office so that they get more funding. Right. I, <laughs> I actually have it on my to-do list. Uh, this is our fan dango fabric. So we also do it in the fun fabrics. The, oh, the fun okay. more. This is the Jolie. This was woven in the United States. I died for it. It's so pretty. We also have it in, it's a, it's a heavier jacquard. We also have it in the black colorway with the black background um, called the Ansonia when it's like that. and. Let's try and grab something. It's also just beautiful. It's so detailed. Any little section that you get of it um, is impeccable. This is it in the, uh, the Anstonia. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. That's, that's called Anstonia? Anstonia. Anstonia, that's beautiful. And this is that short caddy again. So this comes in. It comes in, this fabric comes in this shape, it comes in 
it can come in the larger one, it comes in the Lolita, and it comes in the tall cat. Do you folks see why we have so much trouble deciding which bags to bring in? And here's another here. This is the, the passion. This is the pet velvet. This one I love in fish. So this is that Molly size again with the metal snack frame. This one has feet. And it, it, it changes color. So this one's a little bit darker. And this is a little bit more orange. It's really beautiful blue fall. And we also do this in a, a blue, a different color one, which is a little more. I think today is grabbing something. Uh, in the meantime, I will show you, these are all the, uh, the combo cases that we have in stock right now. We do them in the, all, both of them come in all the Mama Llama colors. This is the back stitch. This is the seeds. Um, we're actually thinking about bringing in a different colorway in this fabric. Oh, oh. Yeah. You have to see this. This is so beautiful. So this is um, from a mill in Argentina. So um, gave us an excuse to go down and visit the family. Oh, great. <laughs> so normally when we order the fabrics, we just order them by those the headers. We order those the swatches. It's something we really, really like. We usually just order a few yards, we make up our samples, because you never know how it's going to actually sew. Um, or if the pattern will fit, or what the repeat is like, if it's gonna to be too much waste. Um, we, we ordered a whole roll the first time we saw this. Uh -huh. I mean, right away, which is a big, we never do that. It was a big, big deal. We loved it so much, and we've been selling it ever since. We, it's incredible. It's like an old, um, looks like an old faded wallpaper. Uh, what's and the that fabric? This is the Orly. Orly. My sister carries, uh, this size in it, and she's a ceramic artist. So she's taking it in and out of her shop, throwing it around, and it still looks impeccable. I guess when I see her do it, I kind of cringe, but then it looks fine anyway. That's what she always does. So okay. these, this fabric also comes in the combo case and in the smaller, the circular case. And the nausea can come in it. Most of the fabrics can come, can come in it, unless it's a super expensive ah. <laughs> it was right in front of us the whole time. So this is the Lamore. It's light. It's this, but in a, just a different colorway. This has more of like a cinnabar. It has a, a little bit of sky blue in there, and you've got this chocolate. And it, it's kind of like a mustardy, a vintagey mustard, the um, yellow. Here. And this is one that has the detachable. So this is what you would have inside if it came from the pouch. And these are really great as, um, they're great for like smaller projects, like a soft project or whatever. And it also can carry a bunch of notions. And it's a great iPad case. It fits an iPad perfectly and a bunch of, with all of your, they're just great gifts because I have in my closet, I have one shelf and it's just a bunch of these lined, a bunch of different sized, these dudes lined up. Um, as my, my organizing, you know? Yeah. And it has a little wrist thing. And again, once you get to your destination, then you can always take it out and use it as a clutch. And they fit pretty, all of the, the pouches fit really nicely inside the bags. Oh, that's great. So yeah. Do you want to see more needle cases? Should I get more? So what, no, so, what do, so what do people think? What are, you know, are there bags, Any anything people want to revisit? Any questions? Any orders? It's really hard to have kept track of. I mean, one was prettier than the next. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. yeah that's exactly my reaction there. So I started, I mean, I should have taken pictures of them because I wrote them down and now I don't remember what they were. <laughs> if you want, I can pull them. If you, or, you know no. what I mean? Just to remind you. And then if, or if not, you can always find them. Um, you want to type up a list i can send you guys pictures and stuff of the different fabrics compile a list from everybody of different fabrics you liked and then i can uh, 
great. Yeah, if you folks yeah. want to send us, you can send us notes. We can kind of be the clearinghouse for all that uh, to put those things together. Uh, we are recording this. Oh. Um, okay. uh, oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> so that we'll, um, we'll post it so everybody can see all the stuff and go, oh, yeah, that one. Uh, and then you can contact us and and we'll make it happen for you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I did, have you, one. did you tell us the price of the eyeglass cases? Those are, um, I think they're about 16. And did you say some have the clasp at top and some do not? They do not have a clasp. We're working on developing that. Right now they're open. They're finished. They're, um, it's just, they don't have a lining. Uh -huh. So we always, we do that the kind of limits which powers we can do it in. And right now they don't have, uh, they do not have a little class. We're working on doing ones that with that go like this. Uh -huh. And now oh, yeah. they'll be a little bit wider for cell phone size. Well, they're so pretty. Yeah, so obviously we need to get some eyeglass cases in. I don't know why we didn't, I don't think you showed them to us. That's why we didn't order them. Yeah, I, 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 it's hard to remember everything. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So many different There's so many different things. And when, at the shows, a lot of the time they go unnoticed because they're just on the table. And this was a nice, uh, doing the Zoom meetings was a really nice way to actually show them to people. Yeah. When do you think you'll have the uh, iPhone cases? That I am not sure. Um, that we have, we ordered the cases and we actually have them in stock. Uh, it's just a matter of having the time to stop and do that. Um, during the holidays? Hopefully before the holidays, because I think it would be a great gift item. Um, yeah, it's a nice stocking stuffer. And a nice stocking stuffer, and it's a good price. That With the metal frame, it'll go up a bit, um, but it should still be a pretty a pretty good price to just to throw in. Um, and they're super unique. Oh, do you guys want to see the mask in the bag? I, I, that's, I've been kind of holding it back because, yeah. Yeah. So she's been working on this new project. We have a we haven't seen them. We heard them described, but uh, so, this is the mask. It's um, in our harmony fabric, uh, and it's lined in. It's lined in anti. I put a tissue in there so I would get lipstick on it. Um, <laughs> It's lined in an antimicrobial fabric. It's really comfortable. I took my um, nephew, my sister and I took him to a pumpkin patch over the weekend and it wasn't hot outside. So I don't know how it's gonna do in the heat, but it, I, it was breathable, breathable and really comfortable for the whole day. Um, so you have these little dudes here, little cord stoppers, and this is a sutash. And the antimicrobial is great. I did apply that, I found a bunch of research about it. it doesn't allow the virus to keep spreading. So um, if somebody, which, I mean, still, I still wash mine every night, but if you get some droplets on, on it, it's not going to keep spreading throughout your mask and get worse. It kind of stops its growth. So now, so we also then made a little crossbody uh, in the same fabric, has a zipper closure. It has the open cell phone slot and the open pocket, just big enough for when you run into the store so you can be really cute and match. Um, and <laughs> you just big enough for all that. And then it has an outside pocket lined in the antimicrobial that's just specifically supposed to be used just for your mask. Oh, I would love to order the crossbody. That is awesome. With the and, it's right now. and it's adjustable. Uh, that is genius. That is so genius. Awesome. I, I love, I don't know why, oh, it's just giving me goosebumps. I don't know why we didn't think of the antimicrobial pocket before because now, and now that I have that in my head, I always put, I've saved the zipper pocket in my purse specifically for my mask now. I always, I just put my, my one car key that I don't need to take out and my masks in that one slot and it makes, it makes all the sense. Um, and this should be, I like, it should be pretty washable. Um, Again, gentle, but I've been washing this guy by hand and it's coming out okay. This was, we haven't decided what charity yet, um, but we're hoping about like 20 to 40% percent will be able to donate. Um, uh, Hillary Farr from HGTV designed the fabric. And I met her when we were buying fabrics in North Carolina and she, um, she ordered a few of them. 
but she and I are going in on this thing together of trying to advertise it. You know, that Hillary Farr, Hillary Farr. TV, you know, list or, or list it or love it. Yeah, love it or list it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She's doing yeah. math. She designed this fabric. Sorry. <laughs> she designed the fabric and she has always been, she's, we've been wanting to cross promote. So I sent her, I was wearing my big furry purse and she loved it. And um, I, it seriously opens doors for you guys. Um, so I was wearing that purse and she stopped me and she loved it and we started talking. And when COVID hit um, and I'd been wanting to make masks and she came to me asking if how I would feel about making her, this fabric into masks. Um, and so we've been working for the last couple of months trying to develop this combo. Um, and a portion of it, we're trying to um, make sure that a good sized portion of it goes to charity because I don't want to be making money off of masks. I didn't feel like that. I mean, it's still, we're still a small business, but um, so now I just need her to pick the, the organization. I'm not sure which one it's going to go to yet. I have a couple that are, she, we're looking at a couple animal um, reserves, and but mostly geared towards global warming and hunger and that sort of thing. That's great. How do we order that? How, um, how do we you can order through Oz and Chris. Um, do you guys, you guys, I, I don't have photos of it yet. I took right. a couple photos of the purse, so I'll send them to you right away. Great. Um, we have them on order. You have two on order, and I think you're going out. So, uh, I love the bag. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. So uh, I will send you, I'll email you photos so you can make it as an item on your website. Great. What's the price on that? That's a great yeah. question. <laughs> we ordered them. We don't know how much they are, but we ordered them. <laughs> um, I have to go to my email, my text message with her. hasn't responded. I sent them to her on Monday. So I hope she, she got them by now. The masks are going to be between like, I think they're about 33, 35, and the crossbody is 74. Do you anticipate some other fabrics as well? Um, so far, I, I, you know what, you're right, we probably will. Right now, I'm just starting with this. Um, and once we start going into production, we'll see how uh, viable it is as a product. Uh, because it's the antimicrobial is really stretchy, so we're having a little um, little trouble sewing it. Um, and these fabrics need to be soft enough. Uh, but I really want one in the wild garden. I really want one in this fabric. Oh yeah. Even if it was just this section, you just get a leaf. It's so beautiful. It's so <laughs> it's, and it's really soft. Um, wouldn't that be gorgeous? You could go uh, yeah. to a really nice event in that. <laughs> um, so yes, um, and all of them, those, oh, maybe that's how we can do two different organizations and that's how we can get, we can do all three of them. We can have a different one like this to be, so that's, okay. We're really just, just developing it. This could be an environmental, exactly, that's what I was gonna say. Um, so the, the price point is because we uh, manufacture ourselves and hoping that at least 30% can go to charity, to different organizations. And we'll have all that information on the website um, once we actually launch this dude. And Oz, I will forward you guys that stuff. Great, perfect, perfect. Yeah. I predict those are gonna sell like crazy. I love it. And I think it's a great statement that you're, you're, you're wearing. The fabric is named Come Together. So it's really, you're really wearing a symbol of, you know, of, of unity. And it's, she wanted it to be semi-androgynous looking humans um, and about the flora and the fauna. I wrote like a four page uh, mission statement that I now have to put down into two sentences. So. <laughs> I was say four page <laughs> mission statement. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's um, yeah I, I love it. It's really... I get a lot of compliments and I, it's so comfortable and it's a really nice feminine, the cut is really feminine too. So these are not stretchy because they have that cord. They can also kind of like bring it down, if you loosen them just a little, you can leave it down here, but it, um, it holds its shape 
So it doesn't need to be totally tight behind your behind your ear. That little and that little the cord stopper does not bother your ear at all. So very nice. Thank you. And I think this is just going to be. I don't know why anybody hasn't done this before. Hasn't done this yeah. Before. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I'm very excited. These straps are not detachable, but they do have this in here to. They have a D ring there just to add. Um, to add to the look and to also just um, so you can move around a little more easily. And it's just a basic, really small, basic size. And it can be the one bag that you just leave in your car with your credit card and your hand sanitizer and your mask. Yeah. That's great. So I forgot what we were going to do right before I had that thought. Uh, no, I think we were just asking if people had questions, if they had. Uh, stuff so yeah so we are uh we're we are recording this um we'll get it up on our website so you can then go back and refer to it um if you made notes and you went you know which was that one we can find that out for you um anything that you saw if if it's not on our site or if there's not something similar we can get pricing for you um and uh you know, we're here to help. We, we love these bags. Yeah. Um, we love working with them. They're just wonderful folks. Um, and uh, uh, so that's, you know, we had planned to do this live here, but obviously uh, COVID had other plans. So, uh, so that's why we're doing it like this. Well, in a way it's better because people from all over get to participate. True. And we get to see we we get to see more stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. We we wouldn't have have otherwise. And so in a way, it's a blessing in disguise because I have several of your products and I love every one of them. And if I could, I, I would be like Oz and Chris. I would buy one of everything. <laughs> but um uh, this was fascinating and and for me i really think i enjoyed it more being there um you mean being here like this you you enjoy it more hey, yeah being you, able to see your facility and to see everything yeah you coming in you to our place. Yeah, yeah that's true yeah. um it's also it's really cool to to for me to actually get to meet everybody like I, I wouldn't be able to do a trunk show with everybody. I wouldn't be able to, and I get to see some of the shops. I did see you guys in person just recently, this right before all of all this, um, wow. for this past year. Uh, but I don't, for the most part, I don't see the shops. I don't get to meet everybody. Yeah. So it's really, it's really fun. It's really nice. Yeah, it's yeah. true. We had the, we had the craziest thing. I was walking down the street. It was one of those. I was coming, I can't remember where I was going to or from, but I was walking down Main Street and this car pulled over and I hear, Oz! And it's <laughs> Nina and you know, the rest of her siblings and they're all in the car going, yeah, we just came back from a wedding up in the Bay Area. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, they came in the store and it was just this yeah, really jump on it, come with us. <laughs> little kismet thing. So we just ended up having this whole, you know, it was just this cool little uh, event that happened. You know, and I think we pulled over, I don't even think we intended to pull over there. <coughs> we stopped the whole way down, but I don't think we even really intended to pull over there. And then we realized that you guys were there. So we pulled, we stopped, we were on the other side of the bridge. We were all on the other side. I wouldn't even, I don't even know if we would have gotten that far if we hadn't looked it up. Excuse me. <coughs> And it's beautiful up there. It's totally beautiful. Um, I've been wanting to come up. Yeah. I think yeah. my friends are visiting up there, but I keep on mixing up Cambria and Carmel for some. I keep on mixing the two yeah. things up in my head. We're, yeah. we're Carmel without the attitude. That's what we think. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. And it's, it's cheaper to park in Cambria. That's right. Well, and we, and don't and we don't charge you to drive on the road. That's right. <laughs> I've never, I've never been to Carmel. I so I don't know why the word is in my mouth, why the name is in my mouth. 
I would totally live up there with you guys. That's yeah. Good. And come on up. Yeah, right. Why not? Right. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, um, how's everybody doing? Any questions? Any uh, comments? Is there something that you know you want us to bring to get for you? You can certainly distill it and contact us later. Nina, we'll get in touch tomorrow uh, about all this stuff, kind of a, an after show thing. Yeah. And if I can remember, I'll try and send you like, um, I'll def I definitely need to send you this. We're technically closed tomorrow, but I okay. will, if you email that attendee bags, I'm sure I'll swing by here. We okay. work 10 hour days so that we get three day weekends. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I mean we can we can catch up next week. Yeah, that's we'll fine too. No, yeah. no, no, that's okay. I will. I, I, I'm always in, and we live right up the street, so we okay. come by here all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All I'm doing is, and I probably will because I need to pull something else together, something real for a costume. Oh, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> the all important. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, we'll need pictures of costumes. I will. I'll send. I'll, I'll post and send photos. Oh, that's great. I would like to do this again. Yeah, anytime, you guys. That's it's. Well, we just it's did it with you guys um, a couple of weeks ago, and it's we've just kept this set up like this. This is yeah. how we always do our booth. Um, so it's really easy, and these shelves are really easy to take up and take. Put What's up the down. little bag that has pink on the front? On the shelf right behind you, right at the other end of the shelf. This one. Yeah. No, on the same. No, same shelf, but just the one da 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 with the pink on the front. Here. Right there. No, yeah. here. Keep going. No, next next shelf. Oh. A little bag. No, one one row up. And over at the uh, left end. Other end. Uh, <laughs> no, Are it's you right. Are you, do I go down? It has black and some pink and some green on the top, right? Oh, no, what, one shelf up. That one. There you go, what's that one? That's the that's one I ordered in the cadet. Oh, that's that beautiful fabric. Ah, that's that beautiful I, fabric. And this is that shape again that's so, that's like super functional. It has this time and you, have, you get zebra inside. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah. You do. Um, that's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's that's so really beautiful. And it's, like, and it's such a cat, it's such an elegant fabric for such a casual shape and functional shape. You know? uh -huh. Yeah. So that's the cadet. And what's the fabric? Wild garden. Wild oh. garden. That is beautiful. Okay. Should we should we order that for you? Yes, yes, yes. Please, please. Okay. <laughs> and who is that that wants it? It's Corey Ross. Okay. <laughs> and my mom's here too. Rochelle Yolen's my mom. Oh, that's uh, right. I, on I, I would say order one of everything in that wild garden fabric. That, that, is, that is the most beautiful fabric I've ever seen. It's one of it's my yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to find that tote basket. I had a tote basket. The, we could do it in the Lolita, but Tao's grabbing one in the maxi tote, which is that smaller open tote. Um, it's really, really precious. And then I love it in the hope basket. Maybe because it's new for us, but oh, duh. And I just I was just able to source these handles. Or, or, I'm ordering them. So see, we make our samples out of things. Um, See if you can see me better over here. These are wood handles. This is another new direction we're going in. Oh, we're trying to try out. This, this one has, it's a little bit bigger than that Sophia size. I'm super excited for it. Um, my mom and I have quite different design, sometimes design aesthetics. We, we mesh really well together. And then other ones were like, uh, were a little bit different, but then when it clicks, we like click together and we just we cannot get over this bag. What's the price of that yellow? That I have no idea. Uh, I think it's going to be, I think it's about 180, I want to say, because the velvet is really expensive. Um, it should be about the same price as those Sophia's. 
to be about the same price as this size, um, but it doesn't have that metal frame inside. So I think it should be, it'll be a little bit less expensive. What's the color of that pink? What's it called? This is, we haven't even named these two yet, um, but this is, oh gosh, I wish I could show you these. Well, I'm trying to give you some more light. This has, it has other colors underneath. I'll send you, I'll send you guys photos of these so you can really see the, the texture. Uh, this one is more of a mustard and it mixes with this um, ocean blue. Okay. And this mixes with a minty green. Uh, and it's more of like, it's not super hot pink. But it's it's not a, quite as bright as the power pink for I see. The little mint on the sides. Okay. Those are prototypes, right? Yep. So these candles, I still need to order these. I'm about to order. I found them on um, Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> I went to like five different. We went all over town last Friday. We spent. I found the cord stoppers. We found everything downtown. And we just went into store after store after store looking for them. We could not find them. Uh, so finally, we started looking online and we thought the prices would be kind of crazy. So I emailed and I kind of, I asked if we ordered quantities and we get a discount. And I got a little bit of one. That's great. Uh, this will be, this will soon be available. Oh, that's great. So, uh, how big is your purse closet? Pretty big. <laughs> yep, I'm, I'm actually, I'm trying to start taking more liberties with it. Uh, like this, I was like, well, it's a new shape, so I need to try it, you know? <laughs> and then I, like, it all usually, if it's a one of a kind, then that doesn't actually make the line or something. Those I definitely feel like I can have. Or when we're like developing a style, we'll sew it in, uh, we'll sew it in a fabric and then it'll change, change, and change a little bit here, a little bit there. And the one that is like, the, the, we have a new hope basket that goes out like this. So there's one that's straight up and down that was cut wrong. So that's going to be mine. So <laughs> I can great. test out the functionality. I can advertise. And I like my purse. <laughs> oh, that's great. Good thing. <laughs> yeah. It kind of looked like, I don't know who it was, but she had all of her yarn and boxes behind her. Um, there was a lot of yarn. It's kind of like that with shoes and purses. Oh, that's great. And my costume closet is huge. We had, the, and I didn't realize it was that funny of a thing to say you have a costume closet. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Because <laughs> we've always had one. I should really just like, I throw stuff. This was, this is a just, I had my sister ship me this from Chicago. She was at, she was at a store and just saw it somewhere. And of course, I don't have anything to wear it to. And it wasn't Halloween. It wasn't anything. I have nothing to wear to, but I really, really loved it. I love more tissue. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, that's great. Yeah. So I think we should let you go. And, um, but Nina, thank you so this much. Fabulous. This is just yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for no, joining us. And for, you had, it was really nice to meet and really nice to show you the different shapes and your feedback was really nice on both ends, the functionality of it and of the purses, the bags. That's 